athlete for so, so long. It might just be that they're a little bit rusty on it now. We'll see. We're gonna find out. Looks like Black Dragons uh, here with the bomb, although it has been left over here back at, uh, at the spawn location, is they're mostly gonna be focusing their energy over here onto the uh, right side of the map, but as that is smoked out, they may abandon that and try to set up something different. It looks like Vienna might be staying back there. Excuse me, Goken staying back there. Yeah, a couple of peaks here, but we see that Black Dragons are very grouped up on this B side as they go through B long. Snox is there waiting. He might just be able to get the drop on these players as they come through that archway here, but I I'm not sure he's going to be able to. Snox flashed up, gets one, gets two! And that is a big performance already by Golden V. Beautiful play. It's going to be very difficult now for the Black Dragons to win here. Again, that was really clutched by Snox to get the two kills off there and then allow his teammates to clean up that remaining player. Relocating here, but this may be an obvious move to go to A. Sniper now taking out uh, the second to last player. It's just DGZ left here. He gets a kill of his own in this 3v1. Will he get the plant off or will he try to win in the gunfight? We'll see. Looks like it is going to be the gunfight. Oh. oh! It was in the crosser, but he was moving at the same time. A little too rushed. Unlike, <laughs> on characteristic mistake by DGZ there, had the right call. Yeah, you can see the ideas when DGZ moves around. He knows exactly how to handle these very unusual situations where there's so many uh, variables at play here, so many moving parts to the position. Yeah, but that was a very, very important pickup. After getting 10 Tood in the last round, in the last uh, map, picking up a very early win might just cement and calm some of the nerves that GV might have right now, because that was a very convincing win. Now we wait and see what will the Black Dragons do here in the second game. I think the symbiosis there of Golden V was very clear. I mean, each player played a pretty important role there, especially Snox curbing the push uh, had he not managed to get those kills maybe we would be sitting here on a black dragons win um, can they be consistent though when golden v wins it looks great but oftentimes they get close to winning and it slips between their fingertips and that's usually that can totally happen and black dragons having a big setup towards the a long keeping goken and making sure that he's getting the a long open so they one day break into that a short side not knowing exactly how many members are set up for golden b it's actually four to one big risky play by golden b by using a lot of smoke towards the waterway seven has eyes on that alley in case there's a breach we do see the grenades come out the flash is good he gets quite a few here as black dragons oh capitalize on that and that is an absolute slaughter on a site and you can see now it's just creeds coming through Probably doesn't want to go through the bottom here. This is almost impossible for one player to ever come in. Yeah, before he could even get underneath uh, the entrance, he is picked off here. Confidence levels rising now for the Black Dragons. This is tied up 1-1 against Golden V. The three men set up towards the A short, and then a flash to push back into A long, and Goken gets an easy kill all the way from back of the A long. You can see a very quick push here by... Black Dragons up B, but then they decide that side road is where they need to be right now. Grenades are going out down into that central passage, and it looks as though it's more positioning here on the side of Black Dragons. And I don't think Golden V are going to be able to wrap around the back of them. Black Dragons regrouped here in mid. It does seem like they may, there may be a sweep coming here from Golden V <coughs> as they try to come over here through a long yeah blame trying to get around trying to get some uh, sneaky angles here he's taken a very defensive state here he is very deep in the black dragons half of this map and he might just be able to get the drop on someone like adrf as they try to sneak through these uh access roads and up into the a site mm -hmm. but it looks as though black dragons are going to be just holding the center and that's what they're happy with right now yeah i like the fact that black dragons are are taking a lot of time not really rushing any towards the b side not even peeking into that waterway making sure they always have control towards the a side 
and then they can always strike back into B. Golden V, luckily, they're focusing a lot more on A, just like Black Dragons are. Keep your eye on Blame right now. Blame actually takes quite a few hits. He did get the drop. He gets one. He's got quite a good result here for Golden V on that push. Look at that, Golden V get another win. The seven had beautiful covering angle from that midsection on, on A long. Also had phase covering from that A short side. So that A long covered was actually good blame. As long as he was seeing alive, seven had a lot more opportunity to get the kill. That was the best game we've seen here from Golden V. I mean, they just cleaned it up easy peasy. Uh, as we go on here into game four, uh, Vienna is hurting. He's taking some damage. Snox already picked off. Heavy rotation through B long, it appears, although they could be met by FaZe just around the corner. FaZe uh, very good with a rifle play in close quarters. Creed's might be in trouble. He's very deep. He's already behind three of them. As FaZe goes down to Vienna, Creed's goes down to Mazin, and this looks like a Black Dragons rally goal here as Vienna takes down seven. I think there's one left. He is going to oh, get Oh, they don't the know drop, that he's though. there. He could actually pick them off from behind here, but this is a lot of players to try to surprise. He knows. He got a spot. Oh! oh! <laughs> right in his face! Damn! I thought there might be something crazy happening back there, but clutch moves here from uh, from those players. I love what I saw there. This time around, Black Dragons. Again, with the rotation this time again through uh, A Long here. Or at least they're going to smoke it and poke. Only one player, in fact, covering uh, A Long. It's just FaZe over there. Golden V are doing this thing where, like, they're trying to catch Golden uh, Black Dragons with their pants down on every turn. Like, look how deep right now Snox is. Look at his positioning. He's moving through side road, which is usually where we would see the Black Dragons at this point. They're playing very aggressive defense, and it's paying off for them. I mean, it's 2-2 at this point. A pretty good carry and an off angle for FaZe again in the stairs. This is usually where the Riflers are. Oh my god, they're dropping like flies, oh! Black Dragons! All right, this is the, the play we need from Golden V here. Again, Gokin is somebody you don't want to count out, but we really, so far in this Grand Finals, haven't had a 1v4 comeback here. Again, with a sniper rifle, if you can isolate the players one by one, you've got a shot, but you better do it perfectly four times in a row. All you need is full four, four right bullets, perfect bullets to get those kills. But or Line them up and have one bullet go through all four. <laughs> I don't think they're going to let that happen here. Well, yeah, with that, but with that C4 towards the A side, he has to walk through that A long, and the moment he goes to goes towards that stairs, he's going to be lost. I think Oaken will be just looking for a few extra kills and then maybe stretching into that A side. The studio has gone silent. There is not a word being whispered between these players right now keeping everything nice and calm as We're Gokin trying to find the right way to approach the C4. Edging in now. Just a missed shot. 38 seconds. He's going to back up. He's he's worried that he's going to be hit from behind as he does this, but Golden uh, V, I actually like this a lot more. He's just taking a very conservative route. They're all just going to camp on A. Uh, I don't think there's. it's physically possible coming up here for him to get, yeah, there you go, for him to get four shots off in that amount of time, hitting each player and taking him out. So so nice play there. Uh, I like the way that Golden V approached that. They didn't decide to split up and hunt him down because that is one way you can get picked off by a sniper. Yeah, well, they're doing it again. They're playing very aggressive on the defense, but they are flashed out of the storage area. So they're going to retreat a bit there. Slows down that defensive push of theirs. That has worked pretty well so far. And that adjustment has actually come out completely clutch for Golden V, who looked like a completely different team on Black Widow. Yeah, Black Dragons finally switching their strategy into that piece by stopping, stopping Golden V coming out into that waterway from the storage, which was done ev almost every single round. Black Dragons, they just did not care as much towards that straw storage. Mostly it was on the double doors or a long control because they are trying to keep the strength and pressure onto the snipers all the time. Again, the bomb is all the way back here in the bottom left side of the map, uh, not far from BL spawn. So they're not sure where they want to hit. It seems like they're going to try to do some pokes here. We see Vienna coming out, scoping out various areas. We have one of our players looping back here to get the bomb. Looks like we may have some attention over here to the A site. Some shots fired here. Flash is thrown down. Smoke soon to be thrown. ADRF does get seven there. So there's a bit of back and forth here. They know exactly where everyone is. Snux gets Vienna, but Snux gets taken down. Creed gets DGZ. ADRF gets Creed. 
and it looks as though Black Dragons are going to have a nice advantage coming into this final part of the game. We have uh, the position being breached here. We have Golden V trying to come back. C4 is planted, 40 seconds on the ticker. Phase just through the window, phase no more. Now it's up to Blame to win this 3-1. He do it. No, he cannot. And Black Dragons pick up another win. And it is 3 3 on this map. And this is crossfire. This is back and forth as it should be. Literally, with 3 3, Black Dragons, I'm pretty sure they're already happy from Blacklist getting this many into round seven. They're pretty happy to match up with the right score from BL. It's usually about, it usually finishes even in pro play with 3, the three to 6 or even 4 to 5 if they can actually match that up. I love how close this is. I love how clutch Golden V is playing so far. They just need to keep this momentum going, but Black Dragons is adjusting. They are making the right procedures here to possibly twist this game into a lead. Inching in here, we may have a rush through a short. Phase is already down. DGC gets the kill. There's mutters in the studio. The weird cover angle from Blame there from the side of A. I think they wanted to switch position in the next few oh. seconds, but DGC just poked in at the perfect time. One by one, Golden V's players are disappearing. Oh. Unclear if it's A or B. Nobody really deciding to push too far forward here. This move here by Mazin is absolutely insane. Gets around the back, but that doesn't even matter. The distractions, not good enough. DGC finishes it off with two last sniper it, bullets. <laughs> you can see Black Dragons, the smiles here. They are having fun. It because in yeah. game two. It because it wasn't the rifles, DGG just came, literally just jumped off the cliff, uh, aisle of that A short and then got the shots down to two, two of the members going into B site. <laughs> we saw a nade bounce there. Misplay by FaZe. He does get a kill, but we can see Golden V a little bit shaken here. It looks like they should be able oh, to take this. And oh. Goken is the only player remaining here. FaZe, again, he bounced that nade off the wall towards him. But it seems like... They can close this out, but again, Goken is never to be underestimated. Yeah, 2v1 kind of still favors Goken, but he is uh, a little bit down in health, so Golden V might be able to capitalize here. It is a sniper rifle here for Goken. They are going to come right within the crosshairs of uh, of, Go of Goken here as well. Faze and so Snox, excuse me. Goken now with a sniper at a distance. Oh, missed the shot. Missed the second shot. Third goes, does connect. Can he get a fourth? Can he get a fourth? Faze, uh, popping out of the corner. Goken relocates, misses the shoulder, and that does it. Faze now getting that win. That was a clutch play, and Faze is feeling it. You can see it here. Frustration on the side of the Black Dragons. They could have won that. Now it's tied up 4-4. Four -four. Yeah, Goken panicked for a second. There had a lot of bullets, a lot of opportunities to actually win that 2v1. After getting one of the rifles down, FaZe actually keeping it short, keeping maintaining control and just pistoling him down, knowing that he's very low in health. It kept another so another round score up for Golden V finally. So we can see defensively Golden V sitting over that A side, keeping eyes down that central passage, but all of Black Dragons are heading towards A and they will be now entering A long. Sneaking through the smoke here is the Black Dragons. Who is going to win the, who's going to get the fifth win here out of these nine games in the first half? He already gets the GZ Creed, gets ADRF, and that's a big advantage as we go into the last few players here. Diffuse canceled here. Vienna waiting to see if Seven will come around the corner. Blame about to poke through here as well. Phase is so close to Viana right now. They are within touching distance of each other, but FaZe does retreat out, and that kind of gives a site over to the Black Dragons. Yeah, no, no C4 plant yet. Shot. Nice shot here by Mazin. And Goken gets a big kill on FaZe as well. It's three versus two. Oh, nice spray. We do have Snox very low here. And just Goken like here with the sniper rifle, though. That was a big turnaround. It is now two versus one for Golden V as only one player left on the side of Black Dragons. He does go pick up the C4 on that A site. Yeah, he's going to get to plant it. Again, Goken with the AWM. So he wants to just pistol this one out with the C4, carrying it out all the way into the B site. Uh, he knows that there's a bigger rotation coming from a short 100% or a long even if, they, if the Golden B takes a longer rotation. And he has still about 25 seconds. 
He's backing up. We see with nobody at A, it should be pretty obvious they're going to go to B. I don't think they would expect him to pop back into A. Here comes that plant now. And good luck, Gokin, with one sniper rifle. He must pick off two players from two different angles. He almost did it before. Can he do it this time around? That's the question. That's he one. Yeah, he gets one. One more. Snox is coming around the corner. They're, they're almost looking at each other. Snox. God, that is incredible. The pistol play, two shots, cleans it out. No need for a sniper rifle there. The pistol does fire uh, much more quickly here. And Black Dragon's eking out that lead. And, and as you said earlier, Simon, you know, the last game we had, uh, look, it was, what, 10 to two, but it was close. Yeah. The games were close. This time the games are close and so are the results. Yeah, five to four, it still is anyone's game at this point, Golden V really did take that last step needed to be able to get these wins on the board. And they are taking Black Dragons, one of the strongest teams here, all the way on Black Widow. Yeah, Golden V, they're carrying it pretty, a lot, a lot better compared to the first map, but at the clutch moment, it is oftentimes the members of Black Dragons, especially Goken coming clutch with 1v2, 1v3 situation and winning that round. It's Golden B, they can't really let those go so anymore. Okay, right now it's Golden B here holding mid. Black Dragons backed up. They're waiting to see are they going to have any pushes here from Golden B. I'm really curious to see how Golden B is Golden B is going to be here on the the offense. They've already lost. Excuse me, they haven't lost anybody just yet. Players snagging the C4 now. Yeah, moving through Alley over to A, but we can see the uh, the old wraparound here by DGZ, he is behind them. He's in a very offensive position as they do now start to swarm on that A point. Golkin is down, Mazin gets face, seven gets Mazin, but ADRF closes out seven. It's a back and forth right now. Yep, and a weird position for C4. It's actually down on the floor for a site. So the rifler, long distance fight will be crucial. Adrian wins another one against Creed. Just snocks left for the A long. Coming through the double doors. Snox not looking great, but he does get a kill there. DGZ still does remain. It is uh, probably going to be a pistol game here. I'm sure he can confirm. Yeah, he swaps into uh, the AK. I think that's a much better move. Probably try to win with a spray versus a one uh, sniper bullet. And we're about to have these guys cross paths. They are right next door to each other. But like ships in the wind, they do. Oh! Looking right at each other, but they I don't think they realize they know where they each other is. Oh, big win there for GB. Golden B clutching that. Beautiful play. Again, pivotal moment here. We're now tied up five to five. It is the first to ten wins here. This could go either way. That was a very, very big win for Golden V there. It was looking kind of rough in places, but the back and forth trades between kills eventually gives them the win here. And again, this time, they're completely swapping it up. They're going over to that B side. They're going through bridge. They're going over long. We'll see how this works out for them. Will they storm B like they did A last time, or are they going to take another route around and maybe wrap Black Dragons up? If Golden B, can they, if they can go into that B site, because we know the backup's going to be so late from Black Dragons, it will be the best news, but pretty good to be laying flash, first of all. Nice shots fired here oh. as Black Dragons mows it down. Do not try that again. B site on lock. Didn't work out for them, but, you know, there's still positives to be taken there. They did get themselves in a position, and... Even though it's what, five versus two, five versus three, ADRF is just an absolute animal at that point. He just went six and one. He just slaughtered through everyone. It was still a nice idea. It worked on A, didn't work on B. Maybe if they go for B again, they won't run into the same situation. Yeah, but I would. I like the speed and the tempo that they want to bring into this game after switching to the second app but Golden B, I think they needed to have some better setup, like a few more smokes into the double door for the B side and then, or. Even flashing into the box where you can't really get the penetration shot anymore. Moving through the stairs up here towards A short. Uh, there's minimal coverage over here of the A side for the angle that they might try to encroach. Yeah, and DGZ has eyes on anyone popping out, but that was a bit too close for comfort. Does manage to get one though. 
DGZ with good cover. He is picked off, though. Now this area is free to lock down here uh, for Golden V. Black Dragons reorganizing. C4 is planted. Yeah, and had, now it's a 3v3. Had no idea that Goken was all the way out into the E-Long after losing DDZ. Didn't really expect another sniper to be all the way far. Creeds does get taken down. Seven is down as well. Black Dragons might just have this wrapped up as Snox goes down. Goken. C4 disarmed. Perfect cover from E-Long. Beautiful play here. That's seven to five here. Just three more wins for the Black Dragons, and they are victorious going on to the semis. Golden V right now. Look, they look good. The question is, are they going to be good enough when our uh, score is finalized? They have a lot more work to do, I think, than Black Dragons, just in terms of what they've been bringing so far. But this has been so back and forth between these two teams that we have to give huge props to Golden V for just taking and making Black Dragons work this hard. Hey, they can still come back as their blacklist set up. I think they need to take a little bit more time, take the resources out from Black Dragons first, and then work their way in. Make sure they know, they have some information, especially where Gokin is. This is good, but Gokin's actually doing so good in the backup and the covering shots from his teammates. As long as they can actually start with that flash. Nice shot, one Black, one black Dragon player down. But they trade it off as Seven is picked off as well here. But ADRF is down. Seven's still up, but barely as it's now, I think it's three versus two. No, 2v2 two two now. Oh, no, sorry. Seven yeah, is seven barely is in here. just in it. Seven stubs his toe and he's out of this game. Nade through the window. There's nobody there, however. We have very carefully DGZ here with a sniper. This is not an easy play here over the window. He might have to draw his pistol. FaZe is just around the corner here. He, he's probably going to need to wait for um, uh, his teammate to come up here. Misses the shot. He now realizes there's somebody just below the window. A nade comes down, dodged easily. Rotating now down to the lower ground here. Yeah, nice wrap around here. Viana is also incredibly low. He did take out seven, but then decided to take his hit points with him. And he has nothing left in the tank as well. That's all the grenades gone. He has the AK, does get one. Whoa. Clutch play. Nicely done. It's a 1v1 DGZ here versus Blame. Ambiguity on both sides as far as the location of the other player. 15 seconds on the clock. A smoke is going to be thrown here. Does he go for the quick defuse? Uh, baited out the defuse. The is good. And he gets it. And the, uh, the save there at the end with what, about three seconds? Not even that, on the yeah, clock. Knowing that he's not going to really come out from that corner, just flashed him out and went with the pistol. Was the perfect decision, a risky play, because he, the opponent can also peek out with the rifle, but DGC has the balls to do anything he wants to. Of course, he gets the defuse to start, to then try to bait him out, doesn't work, flashes, goes for it anyways. I love the play. Smoke's now littering A long as we have Golden V pushing, and I think they may decide to back off here. And in fact, uh, uh, B site, I'm sorry, uh, A site is, is not that heavily covered here. Most of the attention here is on mid uh, on two angles. Yeah, well, that's a lot of information gathering that they might be able to do. ADRF especially has sites down that alleyway. You might be able to see some of these rotations coming as they do now enter that central passage, but instantly drop onto the A road. Yeah, Golden B, I think I like the pace. They are keeping everything close after losing waterway, still keeping Pressure onto a short with the cover and the smoke from a long. Here comes the push. It's all going to come down to this here for Golden V. Already dropping phase. One of their key players, Mazin, down as well here. So it's a 4v4. Uh, C4's planted. A very quick plant there. Now only 35 seconds remaining in this round. Again, it's three versus three. And they're very evenly stacked in terms of health. So we'll see how this one goes. Black Dragons do have a very strong position on a site. With Golden, Ver Golden V all over the place, but Creed gets another, and now it is a 1v1 as the defuse might just be started here. This is hard, a short, a short control, and Snox, he just peeks out from the side and gets the easy kill. DDD had to think about a short and the passage first, but couldn't really think about the stair kill. Very impressive play there. It's tough, though. I mean, you got 10 seconds left. Do you commit to the defuse? That's enough time for them to pop you off with a pistol, but at the same time, they could buy their own time as well. It takes a few seconds to actually get that bomb dismantled. Yeah, it's six to eight. BD with a narrow lead here, and it'll be made 
to mm -hmm. work for every win they have. Can Golden V manage to come back? They just need four more wins, and that will take us to the third map. As we can see, nice defensive posturing here by Black Dragons. They're in a very forward position, defensively speaking. Yeah, Golden V had he had such a better setup, just locking down Goken from opening sh opening fire into any angle with a sniper gun, just blocking Vision with those smokes all over the place where they when they're going into that A site. This time they will actually split and try to peek out into A long and then go towards a slow A waterway push. Golden V they haven't really tried this before. One for one, Viana though gets two. Viana gets three. We've got, an, again, a, a, a smoke throw thrown out here. Pistol shots fired here. Face comes through with the kill. Snox behind the box. Pistol round shot. If they don't win this, it's going to be 9-6. to six. Oh. oh, my God. Shot through the foot, and that's it. Uh, Black Dragons with yet another victory. It's going to be up to Golden V to try to get nine wins here, win it from uh, here on out. Otherwise, their story ends, and they go the way of Lazarus. But Black Dragons, I mean, they're one point away, but we don't know when that one point is going to be because Golden V are just playing so phenomenally. They are. They're playing really well. They're close almost every time to winning, even if they bungle the early part of the round. Yeah, and it's back and forth kills between both sides, trading resources as we see Blaine oh. take out Goken, and that is a big kill because A now is completely undefended, and we see the whole of Golden V push into that spot. But a huge opening shot by Golden V as Black Dragons, they want to secure this match point, but with that A long totally secured by four members and the C4 planted, we perfect secure on that passage. Mazin sniping over here at 7-7, seven, seven, stuck behind the pillar. He is pinned for now. Oh. Crossfire, though, as he is picked off there by Blame. Only ADRF now sneaking through the passage, but he has five people to kill. Starts with a, a grenade over here after some AK shots sort of kind of connect, and that's going to be a That's the kind of play that Golden V need. They know, okay, just a few more rounds. Let's get to 9-9 nine, nine and then deal with it from there. So we see everyone loading up, and let's have a look at the position. We can see Black Dragons taking a very aggressive stance down A long. Now the push comes very slowly, actually, I should say. They're completely hiding over in the bottom left. I think they're hoping for a sweet play here from Black Dragons. I thought they might rush into A, but no, they're going to hide really far back. Mm -hmm. Just setting up go setting up Mazin all the way back into a long hiding spot. I think this is a smart move here. Uh, but, of course, Mazin does close in on that position. And, of course, what you see there can confirm that they're not you, know, you, you get an idea as, you, as your teammates eliminate locations as to where they could be. And this should signal that they're either going to go through mid or up into B. Yeah, with few resources actually used into that storage side, even as, even on an early smoke by Golden V. So I think Black Dragon uh, should have some idea that this is a different type of strategy. Now there's not endless time here. 125 remaining. C4 picked up. We see maybe some peaks here towards the, the mid uh, location. In fact... I think they're going to go up towards A short with one player going to push A log to try to cover that from the other side. And this might work. We've got all four players moving upstairs. There's just one gun covering this area, and it's a sniper rifle. So at best, one kill, and then uh, this area is invaded. In through the foot is a kill there by Goken. They did not push fast enough, but Goken is shot down. Seven now comes in on the other side. This is a game that Golden V could absolutely take. Shots from behind, but it's not enough. Now it's a 3v2 here as it's just two Black Dragon players remaining. Bomb planted. DGZ is ready. DGZ gets the kill. 2v2 now. Yeah, 2v2. They're all positioned, but Viana gets a big kill on seven. And Creed oh. goes down. Defuse is there. And that is that Black Dragons does end up taking it here. 10.